hello there. I am the Bearded Padawan. And I was just getting myself in the mindset to start celebrating uh, winter festivities with a delicious piping hot cup of hot chocolate. So you're probably thinking, Mikey, it's not even Thanksgiving yet. That may be true. However, life very often uh, throws wrenches into our plans. And my filming schedule is going to be switched around for a little bit for a couple weeks here, um, just due to the timing of some packages and some changes of events that are going on. And if I'm being honest, I found some really cool Christmassy stuff. Right, let's get to it. So as you all know, in a previous unboxing video, I managed to score a Funko figure of Buddy from the movie Elf. Now, what kind of Christmas fan would I be if I didn't try and hunt down more Christmas-themed pops? <laughs> Here we go. So first up, we've got the number 12 pop of The Grinch. I was extremely ecstatic when they announced that uh, these pops were going to be a thing. I am a very big fan of the original Grinch cartoon. Not doxing on Jim Carrey at all. I love both, but, you know, nostalgia with the cartoon. Um, so when they announced the few variants that they were going to have of the Grinch, as well as Max, I was extremely excited to pick those up. I do have the flocked uh, version of Max that's exclusive to Go Calendars coming in the mail soon. It's traveling via DHL first before it gets handed off to USPS, so who knows when the heck I'm getting that. I was at Hot Topic, and they essentially had a buy two, get one free deal. And with the cost of how pops are at Hot Topic, that's really a deal that you don't want to just, like pass up, you know. So, me being the hunter I am, I went in for a look-see. And when I got in there, the first thing I saw was four or five of these Grinch Pops sitting along the wall. Kind of hard to miss all that uh, red and green. <laughs> so I figured, you know, I had ordered Max, might as well get the Grinch to go with him. Now anyone who really knows me knows that beyond the realms of Elf, and even the Grinch, there is one Christmas franchise that stands above all for me. I'll take another drink of hot chocolate while you try and figure it out. Got a guess? <coughs> Today I am proud to present Harry and Marv from Home Alone 1 and 2. Yes, I know that Marv was essentially in Home Alone 4, but if you really count that movie, just click out of the video right now. We are here to honor the holy grail of Home Alone 1 and Home Alone 2 Lost in New York. Um, I was really excited that they had these two. Home Alone is easily uh, my favorite Christmas movie, one, because I will forever be a sucker for slapstick comedy and people getting hurt that are not me. <laughs> and two, uh, just the overall vibe of the movie, including the soundtrack, which I didn't realize for the longest time was John Williams, who also did Ding 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 Star Wars. But you look at these two pops, you've got Harry here in his traditional uh, outfit that he had in the movie. Uh, he's holding a flashlight. You can already see that uh, his hat and quite a bit of his hair is gone, which just looks fantastic, and it's a hilarious point in the movie. And to go right with him is his partner in crime, Marv, who you can see is holding a crowbar and even has a delightful stamp on his face from when Kevin dropped the iron on him. Now you're probably looking at this and say, well, gee whiz, Mikey, you, you've got the wet bandits, so, uh, where's... Come on! No, Kevin wasn't left home alone this time. I, uh have yet to see a Kevin in store for whatever reason they just had Harry and Marv. However, a huge shout out to my boy Josh who is uh, starting to get into pop collecting. No thanks to me and my illustrious gift of temptation. Uh, he was able to actually find a pop of Kevin and pick it up with a deal that was going on at GameStop and he's gonna be mailing me that very soon so a huge thank you to him for that and I'm going to be doing my best to pick up something that Josh doesn't have to send to him as a thank you. 
And if you really think about it, it's a wonderful exchanging of early Christmas presents. So go ahead and let me know in the comments, what are some of your favorite Christmas movies? I'd love to hear what you guys enjoy watching around Christmas time, uh, whether it's The Grinch, Home Alone, Elf, uh, who knows? Just let me know in the comments. And if you've liked what you've seen in this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it if you want to, and if you want to stay up to date on all my nerdiness, please smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you right back here next week.